So in the previous video, we created a button using an image, uh, but we can also use our SF symbols in combination with our text as well. So we can design up a bit more of a, an interesting view within our button. So for example, I have my button pressed, that'll remain the same. I could add a horizontal stack. This means that they'll sit side by side. I could add in my image, use that system name. Uh, I'll look up inside my SF symbols app to find something that I like. I'm just going to use this download image. So I'll grab the name of this, go back to my app. So I can add that in. So it's a little bit bigger, so it sits on one row. Make sure that's sitting correctly. Okay, then I can set the foreground of it, because at the moment you can see it's sitting as blue. So if I set the foreground color to white, then it should stand out a little bit more. So now it's white. So let's zoom in a little bit so you can see what we're doing. Okay, so I have my image, but this is in a horizontal stack, so I can also add in my text. Let's just sort of call it download. And I can start to style this as well. So let's keep a similar style to what we are using before. Um, I'm going to define the size manually. Let's make it about 20. I can decide on the weight as we did before. I'll use that nice rounded font that I've used previously. I can set the font weight. Even though I've done this before, those properties are available to you. And of course, I can set the color. So now my button's looking a little bit more uniformed. Of course, I can add a little bit more to this. So on my H stack, I can add some padding to give it a little bit of space around my button. And then on my actual button, where that closure ends, I can then add in a background color. And also I can add, whoops, not clipped, a clip shape to make that look a little bit more professional. So now I have a button. Of course, if we also wanted to modify, we could in fact add a gradient. So instead of this color here, I'll just space it out a little bit so we can see how much room we've got. I could add in a linear gradient. Again, we have done this in previous tutorials. I just want to show you how you can apply it. And I can set up some custom colors. So for example, if I use my color one, which I defined in my assets previously, color two, We then also need to define our start point at the top, and the end point is the bottom. Cool, so now I've got a nice gradient on my button. So a couple of things I've shown you there, how we can create a horizontal stack within the button view to allow us to have icons as well as text. Uh, we can also style this in a capsule style and add linear gradients to this design as well to make it fit a little bit better with our design. So that's a little bit of manipulation of the design of your buttons to make sure that they look the way you'd like them to.